AITA for calling my mom a liar and telling her and her husband to check their expectations. My mom got remarried two years ago, and five years ago we lost my dad. I, 16, was 11 when he died and my sister Sky, 14, was 9. My mom's husband George is a widower too technically. Though he was separated from her for a few years and his kids, now 11, 10 and 9, didn't know their mom. So this means they feel like they were always missing that perfect nuclear family while Sky and I already have that. We lost it when our dad died, but that is still our perfect nuclear family and we did not feel like we were missing out on having another dad and we didn't wish for more sibling. But mom and George expected me to see all four kids as equal sibling. They expected me to do for my step-siblings what I do for Sky. My mom expected me to baby my step-siblings the way I used to baby Sky. They expected me to be physically affectionate with my step siblings because I hug Sky, I kiss the top of her head, I sometimes pick her up when we play fight. They expected all of that because George's kids never had their mom. In December I had to write a fake will for my homework. I basically left everything to Sky with some stuff for my mom. George read the thing over my shoulder as I finished it up and he told my mom how I didn't leave anything for his kids in this fake will. They asked me about it the next day and I was like, Sky's my sister, of course she'd get almost everything. The three of us started therapy after that. They said they noticed that Sky and I don't treat George's kids the same and the fake will was alarming because it would break the kids' hearts if that were a real scenario. They expressed the importance that I fulfill my obligations as an older sibling and treat them all the same and most importantly, truly love them all the same. Same for Sky. She should embrace being an older sibling, yada yada. A week ago mom brought up that I had made a commitment to George's kids when they got married and had signed up for to being their brother. They expressed that they expected us to be one whole nuclear family, where nobody was treated differently we all loved each other equally. They said that was what they were going to demand from us as the oldest two and the ones who are not showing that they love everyone. When my time to speak came I called my mom a liar for saying I had signed up for anything and I said I never signed off on her getting married or being a sibling to anyone other than Sky and I technically didn't sign up for that, but I was because I love Sky. Then I told them to check their expectations before they get out of control because they will never get the family they're imagining us to be. I told them it's not what I want or want to work toward. Mom told me I had no right to call her a liar and they said it's cruel to share I have no intention to agree to being a good brother to George's kids. That I showed how much of a child I am. AITA? 